It's week 83 of Zer, so we're going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 83 of Zer, but before we get into the video, I will let you guys know that the contest will be changing just a little bit, and in the next video, I will have all the details for the contest, that way you guys can actually um, know how they're going to work, as well as the contest of the April 2019 giveaway video is actually out, and I will put it in an annotation at the top right of the screen, as well as at the end of this video. So, Zer is located in the traveler or aka the tower in the hangar in this area right here so let's go find out what he has this week sir what's up dude a little popular today huh looks like uh there's a line you know what i'm gonna skip the line and uh cop a squat right here so like always, we're going to start with the left hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Jade Rabbit. And it is an exotic scare rifle. Then we have the Lucky Pants for the Hunter. Dune Marchers for the Titan. As well as the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock. We're going to go ahead and start with the weapon of the week. Try to perk on this is the Fate of All Fools, which chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the mag. Then we have Polygonal Rifling armor piercing rounds as well as zen moments and the two ornaments i have for it are uh raging lepis which looks like this pretty badass i actually like it and then we also have jay gesture actually looks pretty cool as well so i'm actually going to go ahead and give this a tier 2 to 2.5 in pvp as well as maybe a tier 3 in pve you definitely want to use this more so in PvP than PvE um, in order to get to the, I'm sorry, in order to maximize the benefits of Jade, uh, <laughs> of the Jade Rabbit. And I have actually seen this in comp. And as you guys can see, my comp score really isn't that low. It's at a uh, 2572, which is Fable 2. And I have actually seen the Jade Rabbit in comp. And I'm actually kind of amazed that I have. So it's definitely a good um, exotic to use in PvP, but not that much in PvE. Next this is the Lucky Pants. And trying to perk on this is illegally molded, uh, illegally modded holster, sorry, which precision shots load around two stowed hand cannons. Then we have Fusion Rival Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Outreach, Scout Rifle Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And the ornament for this is called Deep Pockets. And this is what it looks like. Looks pretty westerny. So, this exotic is an okay exotic um, for PvE and PvP, but I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and give it a tier 3 in both because there are better exotics out there than the Lucky Pants. And uh, I personally, I don't even run it at all, no matter what subclass I have for my hunter. Next exotic is the Dune Marchers for the Titan. To the perk on this is linear um, actuators, which faster sprinting and chain melee damage. Then we have fusion rifle dexterity, hand cannon dexterity, outreach, scout rifle scavenger, as well as special ammo finder. And this has the uh, hip waiter ornaments. And that's what it looks like. And I'm not going to lie, it's pretty interesting that we are now seeing Titans, or at least their armor, on my Hunter. So that's pretty cool itself. So, this, this exotic's pretty interesting. I definitely am going to go ahead and give it a tier two to yeah tier two in pve as well as pvp it could be a little bit better and i probably would use one or two exotics before this but it's not a bad exotic so if you guys don't have it go ahead and grab it 
Next exotic we will be going over is the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock. Try to perk on this is Fusion Harness, which extra fusion grenade. Grenade kills, um, yeah, grenade kills charge rift. Then we have unflinching bow aim, unflinching fusion rifle aim, unflinching kinetic aim, scout rifle reserves, as well as special ammo finder. And no ornament on these. So, this is an okay exotic. I'm probably gonna give this a tier three in PVE and pay probably a tier 2.5 in PVE. So tier three PVP, 2.5 in PVE. Only reason why I give PVE a little bit higher rating than PVP is because fusion grenades no longer one shot and they haven't one shot since, I don't know, the original Destiny. And fusion grenades kind of in Destiny 2 are a little bit of a joke and a little bit underpowered in my opinion. You know, yes, it'll get the kill if they're already injured, but it won't get the kill if you just throw a fusion grenade on them. So that's why it gets that rating. Next, we have your consumables, which is your uh, Nightfall Challenge card, and then your invitations, which, as you can see, I have not done anything. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which still does not give us Forsaken Exotics, but hopefully that'll change later on. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.